An example of a mutation in the patient's gene is indicated by a highlighted base pair in a DNA double helix. The RNA polymerase enzyme transcribes this gene to make a corresponding mRNA containing the same mutation copied from the DNA sequence. This mRNA is translated into protein by the ribosome at the position of the RNA mutation. The ribosome incorporates an amino acid that is not typically present at that position of the protein. As a result, a mutant protein is made. In contrast to the healthy version of this example protein, which is efficiently exported from the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, the mutated protein does not undergo this normal export process and, as a result, accumulates in the ER, leading to the cell becoming sick. Sickness at the cellular level translates to illness at the higher order histological level and at the organ level, leading to observable signs and symptoms of disease pathology in the patient. A patient is treated with prime editing therapy, which may be delivered by an intravenous infusion, as shown here. In this example, gene editing components are delivered using a lipid nanoparticle system, which encapsulates the gene editing components, and then delivers them to a cell, where they can function to correct the mutated DNA sequence. The lipid nanoparticles deliver gene editing components to the inside of the cell. Once inside the cell, a prime editor protein, composed of a Cas enzyme domain and a reverse transcriptase, RT domain, binds to a prime editing guide RNA, or PEG RNA. The PEG RNA has two important sequence components a search sequence that allows the Cas enzyme to find the mutated gene sequence, and a replace sequence that provides the instructions for correcting the mutated DNA. The prime editor and PEG RNA complex search through the genome, looking for a region near the mutated DNA sequence that matches the PEG RNA's search sequence. The prime editor complex is highly specific in binding to the correct DNA sequence. When a match is found, the prime editor and PEG RNA's search sequence binds near the mutated DNA sequence. Once the prime editor identifies the correct DNA sequence, the Cas domain undergoes a conformational change that allows it to cut just one of the two strands of DNA, generating a nicked, single-stranded piece of DNA. The nicked, single-stranded DNA then binds to the replace sequence of the PEG RNA in the region to which it is complementary. The RT domain of the prime editor copies the corrected DNA sequence using the PEG RNA's replace sequence as a template. Repair of the DNA completes the editing process. First, the corrected DNA strand replaces its mutated counterpart by strand invasion. DNA repair enzymes remove the first mutated strand and stitch the strand back together. This leaves one strand corrected and one still containing the mutation. Additional DNA repair enzymes remove the other mutated DNA strand and replace it using the corrected strand as a template, resulting in the correction of both strands of DNA. From here, we see that the repaired DNA results in corrected versions of the mRNA and translated protein, which can restore cellular function and has the potential to restore or improve patient health.